I am here with Dean Devlin, the executive producer on The Librarians. Um, during the first season, you explored a lot of magic, obviously. Uh, it seems like you have a lot of roots in uh, medieval medieval things. Is that something that was a clear focus of the show to tie it into that medieval setting? I, well, I think if you're, if you're talking about when magic ruled the world mm -hmm. and that it is now leaking out, I think, you know, we tend to go back to this idea of dragons and the, the round table and Excalibur has been part of our show since uh, the beginning over right. 10 years ago. Right. So, yeah, it, it was important to bring that into it. Now, what was it that inspired the TV show coming from the movies that had been done beforehand? Well, for years, uh, uh, TNT had been asking for a series. And for the longest time, I didn't know how to do it because the movies were very expensive. You know, more, normally television movies are done for like three, four million dollars, and we were doing these things for twelve million dollars. They were really big TV movies, and I said I didn't know how to do that every week. But then we did a TV series for uh, TNT called uh, Leverage, and we started to develop a lot of techniques to to put more production value on screen for little money. And so by the time that series ended, I I had more confidence that we could do it. Of course, I hadn't anticipated over 100 digital effect shots per episode, <laughs> but uh, it, 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 there was a path. Yeah. And once we had that pathway, creatively, we'd always wanted to do it. But now we had a, a pathway on physical production. Okay. The end of season one, you left it in a place where it felt like it could have been a natural ending at that point, right. but clearly there are places to go. Are we going to see uh, a complete kind of change to the structure of the show in season two, or are we going to get kind of back to what we've seen so far? Well, I think there's certain things. Look, if you fall in love with the show, there's certain things you like. You know, we, we like to call it the candy. Sure. You know, and you got to give the candy because that's why I tune in to watch the show. Yeah. But aside from that, I mean, look, it's no secret that I'm a giant Doctor Who fan. And oh, yeah. one of the things about Doctor Who is you never know what kind of episode you're going to get. One could be frightening. One could be hilarious. Uh, one could be suspenseful. And we want our show to be like that. We, we don't want to be so cookie cutter that, that you know what it's going to be every week. And when you're dealing with magic and a library that has billions of books, you know, we could go anywhere. And so we're, we try to keep the show fresh that way. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. Look forward to season two.